Hello and welcome to the V-Ray for SketchUp series. In this episode, we'll take a look at the V-Ray LightGen tool. In the previous episode, we learned how to use different geometry optimization tools. In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can use the powerful environment generating tool LightGen. Lighting is one of the most important 3D design elements. It plays such a big role in creating the narrative and mood we want to communicate in our image that we have to set it just right. That's why when I'm working on the lighting, I constantly change it, in search of a better sun angle or mood. When it comes to lighting a scene, I never stick with the same setup for a long time. For me, it's a constantly evolving process until I feel satisfied with the outcome. Variety of any kind sparks creativity. V-Ray offers a tool that does exactly that, called LightGen. This is a very powerful tool that allows you to randomly generate different environment lighting setups with just a few clicks. When we open the LightGen menu, it gives us the option to generate lighting scenarios for an exterior or an interior. The setup for both options is almost the same. The only difference is that for the interior option, V-Ray will calculate a pre-pass before generating your image. That's done so V-Ray takes into account openings, things like windows and doorways. This means that V-Ray will recognize the openings and determine which angles are the most interesting for the lights to come through. Here you can see what type of environment lighting we can generate. For the interiors, it's only the sun and sky, but for the exterior, we can also create different HDRI sets. In this tutorial, we'll only focus on generating the exterior lighting environment. First is the sun and sky option. You can see that there are different sky variations we can use to randomize the position of our sun. Right now, it's set to 3x3, which means LightGen will create 9 different lighting variations indicated here. When increasing the altitude or azimuth variation, you can see that the variant number increases. You can also make the thumbnail of the variant smaller, which will make their calculation faster. When we are done, let's click on the Generate button. And just like that, V-Ray will generate hundreds of lighting variations to choose from. At any time, we can click the Stop button here, which will stop generating variations. Once you do that, you can save the thumbnails as a .light set file, which you can load from here. Let's load a file I have previously generated. Also, let's open the Lighting tab and enable the Custom Sun orientation. When I select the lighting scenario, you can see that the Custom Sun orientation parameters change automatically. We can also change between lighting scenarios while the interactive render is on. You can see how much freedom we have with this tool. We are no longer working with the custom orientation and guessing how it would look like in our render. We have the exact representation of how it will look like instead. Next up is the HDRI option. To use this option, you do not need to add a specific HDRI location, since V-Ray comes with built-in HDRIs. But if you want to have a specific type of HDRI sets to choose from, you can create your own folder with only sunsets or evening HDRIs. Here you can load not only one, but multiple sets of HDRIs. I have previously prepared a folder with evening HDRIs, so let's locate them and add some variation, just like we did for the sun and sky. When ready, we're just going to let the generator do its job. Now, I would like to point out the checkbox here. What this does, it automatically disables all the light sources in your scene. For example, I have this light source in the house, and when we select a variant, you can see that it automatically disables it. If we turn it off, however, this will not turn our light on, so we have to do it manually. Now let's check some of the night variations. Note that you have to lower the intensity of your dome based on the exposure of your scene. You can see that with the help of the V-Ray LightGen tool, we can just sit back and relax while V-Ray generates various lighting environment variations to choose from. That's all for now. Join me in the next episode, in which we'll create a realistic atmosphere by adding a volumetric environment to our scene. I hope you try out LightGen in your next project and achieve great results. Thank you for being part of the V-Ray experience. Thank you.